Goliath Marnie. Welcome to training for how to accept leads at womenspeakers.com. I'm going to go over in this short video how to accept leads. Uh, first, understanding what a lead is and is not, how we vet the leads before they hit your profile, how to whitelist us so you always see your emails, how to find your new lead once you get the email, how to accept the lead and follow up, why it's critical to act quickly, and some best practices for responding to speaking invitations so you are more likely to get booked. The first thing I want to address is what a lead is and what it is not. So a lead is more like uh, the picture on the left than the one on the right. When they reach out to you, they're kind of intimidated, like the little guy thinking about asking the girl for a date. A little intimidated, uh, they're hoping, but don't be, you know, you, you, you're the girl, you're so excited, you're like ready to run, ready to go, ready to take offense if they don't hire you. Um, you know, just be relaxed, let them get to know you a little bit, don't push, don't shove, they aren't asking you to marry them, they aren't even asking you to come speak yet. Just give them some space to get to know you a little bit and then move forward with the conversation. The next thing is I want to let you know how we vet the leads. So at the top, you can see a bad lead. We aren't even going to send these to you, whether it's spam or scams or people selling you things or whatever, we're not even going to send them to you. We're just going to put them in bad lead and not bother you at all. The second kind is a typical lead. It's quite a bit of time before the event and she's invited four or five speakers to um, respond back to her. That's typical. The last one is also typical, but not quite as often. This one has only reached out to one speaker and the event is coming right now. So uh, just know when they reach out to you, oftentimes they're reaching out to several several speakers at once. So don't take it personally if they don't um, invite you this time. Remember, there's always next year. There's uh, oftentimes many even within one year. So don't take it personally. Just let them go ahead and invite who they want to invite and you trust God for the outcome. If you want to be sure to get the emails from us, you need to whitelist us. Your emails will always come from marnie at womenspeakers.com. And if you can see there in the middle of the page, that's how to look over 1,200 Christian women speakers are reaching out to you. Your name, you have a speaking name for you. If you don't know how to do this, search it on Google. How to whitelist an address and at the bottom of the page, that's what you're gonna see, exact instructions. So you can whitelist us and make sure you always get your leads. It's super important that you act quickly when you get leads, so uh, be sure to whitelist us. Okay, find your leads, you're gonna log in, do the arrow click down, and then select edit profile. A lot of people get lost right here. So welcome, arrow down, edit profile. Once you get in here on the left side, you'll see it says notifications with a little one. That means you have one notification. It's either a recommendation or a lead. When you click on it, you can see at the bottom, it's a lead. Okay, you're gonna click on that, and that will take you to the next screen where you can actually manage that lead. Up here, you can see it says manage leads, and then you're going to accept the lead. Don't worry, you're not committing yourself to a speaking engagement. You're just saying you want to look at it. And we never charge for leads. We could, but we don't. Even the free members don't have to pay for leads. We just, we just provide them to you at no extra cost. If you can ever help support us by doing a monthly membership or a yearly membership, do it. The reason you have quickly is because there are so many awesome speakers here. This is a wonderful thing, but she's chosen you. Out of all these great speakers, she chose you. Now, get on the ball and get back to her before she decides, oh, there's this one over here that I guess maybe I'd rather have anyway. You know, so just act quickly. I wanna go through, finally, a couple little practices for you to make sure that you can get the most speaking engagements possible. Number one, pray, keep on praying. If this engagement is what God has for you, then you want it, but if it's not, you really don't want it. So just pray and then release. Number two, believe. Prepare in advance for leads as if you knew for sure you were going to get them. So A is to have your one sheet or a first response template ready. B is to have the answer to how much do you charge ready. And C is to have your bio, headshot, and most popular topics ready. If you don't know how to do this, go over to Marnie.com, go to live training, and start taking the speaker trainings right now. <laughs> Number three, risky. You know, once somebody reaches out to you, respond immediately back to them by email, phone, or however they wanted to be contacted. Do it immediately. Number two, keep it brief. Unless she wants a longer chat, you be polite. Number three, bless her, her committee, her resources, and her timeline. Be aware of the fact that she is super busy. And number four, just ask for an indication of a next step or a date of communication. Just like a girl waiting for a guy to call her back. You're going to just play it low, you know, play it smooth. And uh, don't be too pushy, but you can ask, you know, when do you think you might be able to get back to me? Or when is your committee meeting? 
Or is there anything else that I can send you? What day would you need that by? You can ask some questions so you don't just have to sit for endless weeks wondering. And the other thing is you do need to reach out at some point. And so you need to get kind of a ballpark date of when it would be a good idea to do that. This is Marnie Sweberg, and it's been really a fun opportunity for me to share these instructions with you so that you can learn how to accept leads and increase your opportunities to get bookings through womenspeakers.com. You have a great day.